so we actually made it to the hotel i already showered i didn't wash my hair because i'm gonna curl it later my boyfriend is showering right now so when he's done i'm gonna take over the bathroom and get ready but while i'm waiting i'll give you a little hotel tour okay and there's this cute little coffee station little closet that i already like threw my bag at of course you walk in it's pretty basic standard hotel situation so cute I feel like going to a hotel feels so luxury. I don't know why, but it does. Every year, like, my boyfriend's work just goes all out, like, open bar, concert, dinner. Like, it's a nice way to get together and appreciate the staff. Very excited. I'm a little nervous, though. The party starts at 6. It's literally 10 after 5, and I haven't even started getting ready yet. We're gonna have to whip through this get ready with me. <laughs> yesterday and I ended up picking up this one size beauty setting spray once I saw Patrick start literally do the underwater test where he like put it on then like went underwater like multiple times and his makeup stayed on I was like I need to buy the ASAP but they've been sold out for like honestly like a year I got my hands on it so we're gonna try this tonight I also picked up this Laneige like lip glowy balm I haven't tried it but it looks really good I'm gonna just put it on for now and do my hair and when I finish my hair I'll probably put lipstick and lashes on at the end I grabbed some tried and true Ardell wispy lashes um, and I also need some lash glues I, so I got the duo clear lash glue this is so freaking bomb I like to take a little lash curler and kind of like push them together oh my god it's so cute and I'll look at my tiny little lashes and then BAM lashes <laughs> This lip liner is shade BFF2. Honestly, wow, that's really pretty. We love ColourPop. Honestly, their lip liners are really good too. This is Dolce Vita by NARS. Ew! Okay, that's like basically the hair and makeup. I might come back and touch up the hair before we go or maybe touch up the makeup before we go because like look like the couple strands are like starting to flatten already. It's like, girl, I haven't even left yet. But let's try and figure out what I'm gonna wear because I think that is the most stressful part. But so yeah, this is option one. It's like a little gold tube top and some like white trousers. I tried to find like the gold belt here so that you wouldn't see the black button. Like I wish it wasn't black, but. It still doesn't really I don't know. offset it though. No, you don't think it's like ugly? No. Okay. Okay, but yeah, this is option one. And I have heels or I have sneakers. I do like, because I have, I have like pockets. <laughs> <laughs> like my little, stuff. yeah, pretty much, yeah. Because if I wear the dress, you will have to carry okay, well, I'm gonna go get the paste, though. my stuff. Okay. But yeah, here is option number one. Okay, here is option two. It's this cute little red dress. It has like these little frillies, these little like roses on it. It's also backless, which is really cute. But I don't know. Like this is really cute. I definitely have to do boob tape if I'm gonna do this option. But the thing is too, is if I commit to this, I definitely am committing to heels. But I know that I think I'll be more comfortable in the other option, especially because I have pockets, girl. Like I can put my phone in there. It's from Garage, by the way, like slay. Garage is like slay my life lately. Like, what? oh, I don't know. Okay, I think I might go with this one just because I think I'll be more comfortable. We're gonna go with, I don't know. anyway. Okay, bye. No, my God. The perfume we're gonna use, look, it's literally almost gone. It's my favorite perfume ever. It's the Daisy Love one by my Jacobs and then I have some jewelry here too so since I'm gonna go with the gold I have a bunch of like gold options in here I like shove them into this little Pandora bag but I have these like cute little like diamond gold plated little hoops moments that I like stole from my mom forever ago and I don't even know if she knows that I have them still I have this little also little bracelet thing I don't know like a long long time ago I have this little Michael Kors dangle thingy I'm just like making up names for all these things I'm putting on my arms right now. But my dad got me this. So cute. And then I have a couple other options here, but I think I might just do this one little dangle moment. I have these two, these two are cheapo little ones. This one, like, look, it's like missing gems, but from afar, girl, you can't tell. <laughs> and then I have this little Cartier dupe bracelet. That's, I don't even know where it's from, like Amazon or something. 
I think that might be too much. So I think I might take these two off and I think I might just keep these ones on. Oh my god, they have so many appetizers. Got some coconut shrimp. <laughs> so there's one. But we are home now. We just got home not too long ago. I stopped with my parents on the way back and I also picked up some PR packages. So let's do a little unboxing. So this first package is from NYX Cosmetics. What they sent over, their zero to brow gel, one more brow gel. Oh, this is cool. I love a brow gel. A couple of their jumbo, oh, face sticks. Oh, that's cool. Highlighter shades are all pretty shimmery, but these are cute. They also sent over their Freezy Primer. Okay, that's cool. I haven't tried this, so I'm very interested to try this. They also sent over four different eyeshadow palettes. First, there's this one, really bright colors. More of a neutral. Cute. And this one. Next package is actually from Urban Decay. This new Naked Metal Mania palette. Oh, cute. New Naked Metal Mania palette. The packaging is really cute. So you open it, you get the little brush, of course, and you get all these really cute shades. Oh, this is so cute. And then they also just sent over two little moon dust single eyeshadows. These look really, really pretty. They also sent over an eye primer and a setting spray. Spray is honestly like the best. I've been using this like religiously lately. So very good, I recommend. Thanks so much, Urban Decay. This last one is from Skin Proud. This is our detox toner. I haven't tried this, but I'm very excited. I love trying out new skincare. Sent over their Sorbet Skin Moisturizer. And they sent over their Bright Boost Vitamin C Serum. Very excited to try this. I haven't tried this yet, but I love, again, trying new serums. And I'm almost out of the one I'm using now, so this will be a good chance to try this. Thank you, Skin Proud. So that was all the PR, but I did get a package when I got home. So this is something that I ordered for myself, and I'm very excited to use this. So let's open it. It's literally a box inside a box. Okay. I bought this a while back because they sold out instantly. So I was on like the wait list, I guess. So I got an email when they were restocked. This is basically like a Stanley dupe. God, it's so cute. Couples are friendly, rubber base leak proof, keeps water cold up to 24 hours, BPA free, food grade, stainless steel, and refills about 40 ounces. I'm wanting the Stanley for so long, but I heard that the Stanley like leaks and cracks and all these things. I was looking into getting maybe the Yeti version, but the Yeti version I've seen a lot of issues with the cover. But Hydro Jug, I have a, one of their actual like big hydro jugs and I use it all the time. So when I saw that they came out with a, their, their version of a Stanley, I was like, oh, I need to get my hands on it. I've been seeing them test it. I've been seeing them throw it, drop it, like fully upside down. It does not leak from what I see. But yes, I just got myself this for Christmas, early Christmas gift, but yes, really, really hope this fits in my car. Looks like it might, but I'd be really sad if it didn't. Yeah, it just feels like hydro jug. Happy Friday guys! I hope you're having an amazing week and I hope you are starting off your holiday vacation on a good note. Just getting in the Christmas spirit. Like I'm so behind this year. I don't know why this year just feels different. I thought I'd take this opportunity to wrap my boyfriend's Christmas gifts because he's actually not here right now and I don't think there's any other time I can do it where he's out of the house, so I'm gonna do them right now. I have some wrapping paper. I think I need to buy more. I have some bags here as well, and I also have a few boxes lying around that I might try and put stuff in and then wrap this box. So for his Christmas gifts, he actually kind of already got them. Like we've been kind of giving each other early Christmas gifts here and there, which is like so crazy. I never do that. So this is really all of his like stocking stuffers. I think I'm gonna get him a few more stocking stuffers. For now, this is all I was able to get. Does anybody else like to wrap on the floor or is that just me? Like I've always just wrapped presents on the floor. We have run into a little predicament, that being that we don't have any tape 
I guess I'm gonna have to go run out and see if I can get tape somewhere. And also I might check and see if I can get some gift cards. So yeah, I showed you my last vlog. This is what I got myself, like, my lipstick. This, I'm loving it so far. It fits in my cup holder in my car, by the way. Like I went immediately run to my car to see if it fit and it fits, so that's fun. Don't forget to hydrate. Okay, before I actually go to the store, I wanna show you quickly what I just got recently. So I ordered from the brand Urban Native Era. They're an indigenous owned brand and I love their clothing. They do a lot of clothing, accessories, things like that. And I've been like scoping them out for a while. And recently when they had a Black Friday sale, I ordered two items. So I'm gonna show you what I ordered. So I first ordered this like really soft beanie. It says you are on native land. I'm gonna wear it right now because I'm looking a little greasy. Just check the weather and it is allegedly feels like negative 12 outside. So probably gonna wear this right now. I also ordered a ball cap as well. It also says you're on native land on the front. It says urban native era on the back. And then there's a little hummingbird embroidered on the side. Also a little hummingbird detail here on the back, which is really, really cute. Shop Indigenous own brands. Also, I did wanna let you know that they have a little card here that kind of just says like, the you are on native land design is meant to be a subtle way to educate and spark conversation amongst non-indigenous communities. The design comes from an indigenous perspective and the phrase is intended for everybody, including the wear. Let's go shopping really quick. Got some tape and some other things. I got one gift card for my niece, Starbucks, but this seems to be like all that they have. Like they don't really have that many options, but I think I'm going to get some cards to put the gift cards in. Now to get on to the haul. I didn't end up getting that much. As you saw in the clips, there wasn't really that many gift card options. So I got these two cards. It says, treat your elf, so cute. It says, you deserve it. And then it has a little slip for like a gift card I thought was really cute. So I got my niece the $15 Starbucks gift card. And then I got my boyfriend an NSLC gift card for the liquor store just because that's kind of all they had i really wanted to get them like a GameStop or like a steam gift card they didn't have them there i think i have to go to the mall to get those he's a beer drinker so i feel like this is fine for him <laughs> i also got these little compounds for myself i ran out so also so i got him a large deodorant but i just look how cute these are they're little baby travel deodorants that is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I literally got one for myself. This is genuinely the deodorant I use like all the time. Like look how cute these are. I got one for me and one for him because they're cute. And then of course I got the tape. Thankfully they had tape. I was going through one of the aisles. There was literally like one little roll of tape left. And I was like, oh my God, is this it? I turned the corner and there was a whole wall of tape. So I was like, thank God. So I got three. And then I just got him some like hauls to throw in a stocking. And now I can finish wrapping. So let's do that. like these were also stocking stuffers but obviously they're not gonna fit so i'm just gonna give him those as gifts these little ones didn't fit in there but i think that's okay cute cute i'm just gonna give it to him like this like he can open these two presents that are stocking stuffers separately next year i think we'll get much bigger stockings but yeah this is everything that my boyfriend is getting in his stocking if i'm actually able to get him the gift card that i wanted to get him i'm gonna add that as well but i'm gonna make something to eat really quick because i have a nail appointment so you guys saw my like fall vibes nails look how outgrown they are already these are my nails you guys would have saw them in vlog one they're like my fall vibes nails super cute lasted super long honestly but i really want to get some like christmas vibes ones so that's what we're going for today <music> so freaking cute i'm obsessed Hey guys, it's Sunday now and we are just packing up and we're gonna head to my parents' house shortly. Uh, a few things came in the mail, a new bullet journal for 2024. This is like what it looks like, like my name on it and everything, it's so cute. I always get it from the same person on Etsy. She's an Etsy seller. This is actually my 2023 bullet journal. It's also from the same person. 
yeah, that's my bullet journal. So I had to get one early because last year I think I started like a little bit later in the year than I wanted to, like probably mid-January. So I'm gonna bring this with me and kind of like set it up over Christmas break so that when January starts, it's gonna be all ready. All right, too, I can give you guys like a bullet flip through if you want of kind of like my setup when I do my bullet journal. Oh, this is her, she's so cute. Okay, we are officially on the way to the parents' house. This is the current state of our car. It's absolutely jam-packed right now. But the thing that's taking up the most room is tires. We have tires back here because in our our parking garage that's normally where a lot of people store their tires somebody recently tried to steal our tires so we are taking them with us and we're gonna store them at my parents house instead so we are on our way we got Timmy's for breakfast they like totally messed up my wrap but it's okay like I'm still gonna eat it but yeah I asked for sausage and they gave me bacon which is fine I only get no chipotle sauce because I have the taste buds of a five-year-old, um, but they still put Chipotle on there. Got my iced coffee. So excited for this little road trip. Look, there's snow on Christmas morning. How beautiful. I just took a shower. My mom is already making Christmas morning mimosas. We're gonna probably make a coffee and just drink on that. But I don't think I'm gonna vlog too much today because it is Christmas, of course, and I do wanna spend time with my family. Hope you all have a wonderful holiday and a Merry Christmas. My dog, me. Bags, like literally the cutest bags ever. I just finished getting ready for our Christmas dinner. This is what my outfit and makeup looks like today. This is from H&M. I didn't show it in my last haul. I forgot to, but I just got it and I love it. But yeah, I'm just gonna go celebrate Christmas and the holidays with my family. So I'll see you later.